This is a quick tutorial to get started building a scaffold for an origami in CAD Nano 2. I'm going to go ahead and build my scaffold on the square lattice and I'm going to scroll in with the scroll button on my mouse with my cursor in this window to start with. This is a top-down view of where the helices are going to be. And I start clicking on them. I want to just click in an order that's going to make sense for how the structure can fold together and the final helix is going to be next to the beginning helix because I'm expecting to have a circular scaffold like M13. Over here on the right, we can minimize that view. Over here on the right, we can zoom in by scrolling. And if we wanted to make this even longer, we can click these arrows and create more space uh, for each helix. I'm going to go back to the left window and hold down uh, the mouse button and just um, move the mouse over all the positions again to build in the scaffold. Notice it added the scaffold automatically and created all the crossovers automatically. But if you don't like where these go, like let's say you want all the edges to be even, then you can do this yourself. Uh, just take note of how Sometimes there are crossovers in the middle, and sometimes they cross over on the ends. So we want to repeat that kind of structure. So let's go to Edit and Undo Auto Connect. Now we can place a cursor on the bar in the middle, hit Shift, Option, Click, and that moves the scaffold all the way uh, to fill up the space we have here for the helices. And let's go ahead and start connecting things. Let's um, connect zero and one helices in the middle. So that's just going to be selecting where CAD Nano sees that the helices are going to be positioned right for a crossover. But now if I want to go from one to two I'd like that to be an outside uh, connection and I don't want to place it necessarily where where CAD Nano wants to place it. So I'm going to use the pencil tool and let's say I want to put that crossover uh, right here. So I just use the pencil tool and click on the places I want to connect. And then I can do this again on the outside here. And then you have to be mindful, sometimes it wants to connect uh, the outside versus the inside. So just play with that. Then you can, you want to select strands up here so that you can select your strands, hit the delete key, and take away anything that you don't want, um, like so. Okay, so we'll leave zero open. It can be connected all the way down here to 15. And that's also going to be an outside one. Let's connect two to three with an inside connection. So click on two, and then you see where you have options to connect with Helix 3. You can click on those. We can move the slider out of the way if you need to and make that connection. And now again we can do 3 to 4 with the outside connections where we want them using the pencil tool like so and let's see like like so. Okay again get rid of the things you don't want. And by doing this, we can move through and build the scaffold and the scaffold crossovers uh, the way that we want. And in particular, the goal will be to have loops on the ends, and that's why I'm allowing these crossovers to occur uh, where the helices are not actually in line for crossovers. So see the next video for adding the staple strands and completing the structure.